Now then, I'm in Long Beach, New York. I'm in America still, and I wasn't gonna do a video today because I felt a little bit under the weather. However, I was laying there in bed and my spider senses started tingling. There's a new burger in town, right here at Burger King. It's to celebrate the movie, The Spider-Verse. It's a Spider-Man Whopper, and I thought, I have got to get my hands on that burger. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. The thing is, is it gonna be a marvel of marketing, or is it gonna be, well, is it gonna be a bit of a letdown? Because they've been given this, they've been given the opportunity to make a great burger. Now, with a great burger comes great responsibility. See what I did there? All the, you know, anyway, never mind about that. We're gonna head off there, we're gonna mark it out of 10, we're gonna see what it's like. I've seen it online, it's very red, which bothers me a little bit, because it means it's gonna be full of colours and E numbers, I'm guessing. Anyway, we're gonna mark it out of 10, gonna taste it, gonna show it to you. You guys can tell me what you think about it as well, on looks and on price. I mean, it should look good. They've been given an, a great opportunity. And I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, so we're gonna head over there now. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go on, do it now, and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, watch what I'm doing here. Without further ado, let's go. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. I still find it really strange here that when you're on a crossing and it's a pedestrian right of way that cars can still turn they don't stop they're still allowed to turn and they can come in front of you it's crazy I just don't get it if it should be a walk then cars should stop it doesn't make any sense anyway come on onwards now then the big question is comments down below who is your favourite Spider-Man. For me, it'll always be, always be Tobey Maguire. Then you've got Tom Holland, uh, Andrew Garfield as well. You've also got the original one, which was back in the 70s. And I can't remember what his name was, but I think he was in, he was in The Sound of Music. He was one of the little lads in The Sound of Music. But for me anyway, it, it's got to be Tobey Maguire. He was the best, wasn't he? Anyway, come on. Hey now, I don't know whether you saw that video the other day where I went to Moo Burger and I said there's always a realtor with his picture or her picture uh, on the advert for them. It's again, here look. I mean the biggest thing isn't, do you want to sell your house? It's his name. I mean and again, here look. I just don't get it. As a guy who's from marketing and advertising back in the UK, and that was my background, I just don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Put selling your home or whatever and get the company out there. Anyway, Burger King over here, and then we're going to try out this uh, Spider-Man Whopper. I, I have to say, I'm not overly looking forward to it. It's a bright red burger or whatever with black seeds in it. I mean, I'm expecting to find spiders in it or something. Anyway, we'll be open-minded. I do like a Whopper, I have to say. I think Burger King is possibly, well, it is a better burger than McDonald's, isn't it? It's, it's a lot better burger. Anyway, Burger King over here. Let's go and get this Spider-Man, Spider-Verse Whopper.
Right, well, um, so I've got the burger here. I've got to say, it, it's a little off-putting with it being a red bun, because uh, I just feel it's full of E numbers, but uh, the burger's like a normal Whopper. You've got tomatoes in there, fresh tomatoes, gherkins, lettuce, uh, raw onions in there as well. The bun itself, quite spongy there. Uh, you've got the black sesame seeds on there. Obviously the red and the black for Spider-Man. Well, uh, in fact, I'll tell you what, before we go any further, take a closer look, my friends. Right, okay, well, let's go in for this. Now, I am a big fan of the Whopper, but um, got the sauce on there as well. Let's just go in for it. It's very bland, to be fair. There's not a great deal of taste on it. I expected a little bit of a kick to it. Something a little bit different, but the bread itself fairly spongy but it's, it's just it just seems very bland I'm gonna take another bite fresh fresh lettuce the gherkins are fresh tomatoes are nice the burger's nice to be fair, a little bit thin for a patty, but I figure, I just think they could have done more. They've been given the, the rights to do this and I feel it's a little bit of a letdown to be fair. I just coloured it, coloured the bun red really. It's not horrible. I'll eat the rest of it, I'll wind it up, I'll meet you outside and we'll mark it out of 10. So I'll see you guys outside in a minute. Right, well, I'm going to walk back now. I've got to say, I think I've just unmasked the worst abomination of a burger ever made. Burger King, you had a great, great marketing tool there to work with. And what did you do? You added food colouring basically to the bun and then put some black seeds on it. You could have done so much more with it. It, in fact, while I was in there, there was a group of uh, young kids in there and they went, um, oh, what's it like? Is it spicy? I said, no, there's no spice to it at all. And even the lady said, the young lady said, she went, oh yeah, I expected, I thought there'd have been some spice to it. I said, nothing at all. I said, it's basically like a Whopper, but worse. I'd rather have just had a Whopper. It was, what an abomination. Burger King, Shame on you. I have unmasked the worst abomination of a burger ever. I'm going to mark it out of 10. Did one for the fries. That's it. Absolutely terrible. Jeez, it's supposed to be a webbed wonder. It was, I mean, I wonder how on earth somebody in their marketing department thought, I know, we'll just add some red 
die to the bur to the to the bun. Terrible, absolutely terrible. I couldn't even finish it. It was just nah, awful. Give it a miss. Awful. Unmasked the unmasked the worst burger ever. Remember Burger King. With great marketing comes great responsibility, and that's where you didn't take the clue, is it? Anyway, that's all from me today, your friendly neighbourhood MacMaster. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. The only connection to Spider-Man is I'll be bouncing off all the buildings now with all the E numbers in that burger. Boing, blooming heck. Cool.